guess I'm wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? Okay, outfit for the gym today. We have navigation shorts. These are the mid-rise contour seamless. And then this sports bra is from Buff Bunny. This is the back. She's super cute. And navigation is going to be doing another launch in the next month or so for shorts. So again, code Erica always saves you guys some money on navigation. And they're so comfy and perfect for the gym. Alrighty, let's get into this full body workout. You guys know the drill. Always got to start with some dynamic mobility and some stretching. Just opening up all of the joints and muscles. Making sure you're warm before you get into your actual workout because that's how you avoid injury. Anyways, we're starting with a deficit sumo deadlift and the reason why this is a deficit is because I'm using smaller plates so I'm having to reach lower and therefore getting a larger range of motion. So I did four sets of 10 to 12 on those and then I moved into my overhead press. I did three sets of 10 to 12 on these and then moved swiftly into a Smith Machine reverse lunge. I did three sets of 10 to 12 on each leg. This workout is a glute and shoulder focused workout, so you'll see all of the movements kind of mirror that. I moved into a lateral raise, a dumbbell lateral raise, three sets of 10 to 12 here. And then my last movement was a glute kickback, which I haven't done in a while, but they're in my new program and I'm loving them. So I did three sets of 10 to 12 on each leg as well. And that wraps up my full body workout from today. Okay, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little grocery haul because we just got some groceries after the gym. First things first, cottage cheese and almond milk. I use these every day, so I go through them pretty fast. Same thing with bagels. I just use the Thomas plain bagels for my bagels every morning. And again, I use one every day, so let's go through these pretty quickly too. Then we wanna make some pizza today. So we got these little pizza crusts and I also got these like white, ooh, it'll focus, some Greek style pitas. So we can also use these as pizza dough if we want to or pizza crust. I got some olives, stevia, some fat-free mozzarella, two things of turkey breast for my sandwiches, some raspberries, some marinade for our chicken, some avocados because I go through these really fast as well, and then two things of chicken tenderloins. These I like better because they are smaller so they cook faster and like more evenly. So that's a little grocery haul for the rest of the week. Okay, we're making pizza for lunch. So I'm just gonna throw all my toppings on here. I'm someone that likes a lot of sauce. So I don't have any like cooked meat. So I'm not sure. I honestly might just add like a little bit of torn up deli meat. I don't know if that's weird, but I feel like it will work. I've got peppers. Oh, I forgot the cheese. Okay, I'll lay the cheese down first. Also, this is fat free cheese. And it's like literally just protein. For anyone that's looking for like a protein hack, zero fat, two carb, nine protein for a quarter cup. So this is giving me like a good amount of protein already, which is lovely. We also have some red onions to put on. I just bought this deli turkey today. So I'm literally just gonna tear some of it up and throw it on my pizza for a little bit of extra protein. Not that it's like <laughs> gonna give me that much, but It'll also just give it like a little bit of flavor. We will finish with more cheese. There we go. And then we'll throw this in the oven at like 450, I think, for like under 10 minutes. All right, here's part one. I still have that other like third of a pizza, but I'm gonna have this with my dill pickle ranch dressing as the dipping sauce, which is 10 out of 10. So time for lunch. All right, we're gonna get ready for the day because I'm going to a coffee shop in a little bit with a friend of mine just to do a little bit of a mid-year refresh or like check-in and reset because at the beginning of every year, 
I think I made a video like this actually at the beginning of the year. I love to plan out kind of what I want to do for the year, what my main goals are, what the vibe's going to be. And I feel like it can be really easy to kind of like not lose track of that, but to just like veer off course, which is totally fine. I think it's so normal for goals to change for people to evolve in regards to what they want for themselves. Things don't always go as they're planned. So I wanted to take the opportunity to, it's like, basically the beginning of July, pretty much halfway through the year to kind of go through what my goals were at the beginning of the year, do a full like regroup, assess where I'm at, and then make new goals regarding my fitness, relationships, all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, I do want to talk a little bit about going through a slump or just like needing a refresh or a reset when it comes to fitness, because I'm going to be honest, the last like week and a half, two weeks, I have been feeling a little bit burned out just like I needed a bit of a break. And to be honest, I was reflecting, I really haven't taken a week off or just like really chilled for a week with my fitness in a very long time. And as someone who always preaches, you know, rest and recovery, like it's time for me to take my own advice. And I'm excited to just kind of have a little bit of a break. I'm going to Washington next week to see my family. And I'm just gonna take that weekend, chill, just listen to my body, do what feels good, and then come back feeling refreshed, hopefully. I just feel like I need a, a little bit of a reset. And that's literally the goal of today, is to just kind of reflect on my goals because even at the beginning of the year, my goals were not what they are now. My goals were not to do a triathlon. My goals were to run a half marathon and to continue my hybrid journey. But I don't think at the beginning of the year, I was like, I'm gonna do a triathlon. And now obviously that's like a main goal for me. So with that being said, I just feel like I need to revisit what I started the year thinking and kind of hoping for, if that makes sense. And just make sure that I feel like my actions and my goals are congruent with where I wanna go now. Is that gonna change the lighting? Probably. So yeah, I just feel like it's easy for us to start the year with all of this momentum, feeling really good about where we're going and what we wanna do. And then, you know, the year goes by and you just don't even take a second to look at what goals you set at the beginning of the year and where you wanted to be by halfway through the year. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a full kind of assessment, regroup. I'm gonna make a new vision board for the second half of the year. And I'm just gonna go through, I have like a Google Doc where I write everything down that I have in mind in terms of goals for the year. And I wanna go through and see like where I'm at in regards to the end goal. Like, am I halfway there? Am I more than halfway there? Have I even started? So just being really honest with myself in regards to how I'm doing. But I wanted to also use today and me getting ready as an opportunity to chat with you guys about rest and recovery and just going through kind of like lulls in your fitness journey. I've spoken about this before because I think it was last year i was going through such a gym lull for the longest time for like months on end i just was not enjoying myself and that's when i kind of started to switch things up change my focus and i just feel not that i'm in a lull right now but i just feel kind of burnt out um like because like i said i really haven't taken any time off from training in a while and i'm training pretty intensely right now because i'm training for a triathlon which means i have so many different disciplines going on and i genuinely think my body is just like girl take a chill pill take a week off come back and i'm gonna feel so much more refreshed i don't think it's gonna be an entire week off of training but like i said next week i'm gonna be going to washington and i just won't have access to a pool i'm not bringing my bike I probably will only run while I'm there. We're leaving on a Thursday. I think we come back on like a Monday. So we're gone for like a longer weekend. So I'm just gonna kind of modify my week next week. I'm gonna do my normal training probably the beginning half of the week and then just kind of chill for like those four days and really give my body a chance to kind of chill, come back down. And the last time I actually went on vacation and like didn't really do anything was December of 2022 I want to say and I went to the Caribbean on a cruise with my family and I came back from that feeling so insanely motivated and I just am excited to feel that way and my body felt so refreshed so I just want to like come on here and say if you're feeling that way if you're feeling burnt out if you feel like your body just need some time to chill it is so okay to do that and ask yourself like genuinely when was the last time you took a break I feel like there's two types of people you're either someone that goes to the extreme on one end where you just like genuinely don't give yourself breaks or you're the type of person that is almost like 
too lenient with yourself and you know we all know ourselves best so if you're someone that's like yeah that's probably me like i just am like it's fine i'll do it tomorrow like then maybe you need a little bit of a different kind of wake-up call than i need right now maybe you instead of needing rest you need to be honest with yourself and you need to kick your butt into gear because maybe it's halfway through the year and you haven't even started on majority of your goals when it comes to fitness or what have you it's funny because one of my friends is training for a half marathon right now and her race is like next weekend and she was texting me and saying how she just feels really burnt out and i noticed that as well when i trained for my half just because as your training volume gets you know pretty intense leading into the half marathon like you're doing a lot you're pushing your body especially when it's your first or second half marathon like her, it's her first half marathon you're pushing your body so much harder and so much further than you ever have before and your body's just like whoa girl like what's going on give me some time to rest so i told her like once she's done her half marathon just like take two weeks to really chill because when i did my first half marathon it was like halfway through my half marathon prep so i knew that i had another one coming up in like five weeks so i didn't really have the time to just chill and then after my second one i did take like a week to just kind of do minimal runs and it felt really good but honestly looking back i probably could have done a lot less because i was just so excited i loved running at the time so i wanted to like really push myself and keep going but sometimes you know you might want to but it may not be the best for your body sorry if this video and this commentary right now is like so all over the place but i just kind of wanted to chat about really like assessing where you're at being honest with yourself halfway through the year you know whether it's in regards to your goals or genuinely just like how you're feeling if you are feeling burnt out figure out a way to work through that and give yourself some time to chill so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today like i said i'm going to this coffee shop in a little bit with my friend and i'm just going to use it as a time to reflect reset create some new goals maybe and just be really like honest with myself about where i'm at and where i want to move towards in the next couple months I just got this you probably can't see it but it's the urban decay hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator and i just tried it for the first time and i like it i think it matches it might be just like a tiny bit more yellow than my normal skin tone but that's okay i feel like we blended it in with the blush and the bronzer and all that jazz and it blends pretty well so i'm gonna finish off my makeup and then i'm gonna show you guys what my vision board looked like at the be for the beginning of the year and we'll just kind of go through what i'm going to be doing when i do my little reset in a little bit okay so this is my vision board that i made at the beginning of the year and i feel like honestly looking through this i have been doing a pretty good job of like staying consistent with all of the goals that i'd set for example like let's just start here with the vlog camera i've made a youtube video and posted a youtube video every single week this year which was my goal skincare i've been staying very consistent with I have not been staying consistent with my yoga, so that's one thing to kind of check myself on. Um, this is just kind of like planning. Reading, I've been reading like crazy as you guys know. I actually wore a skirt exactly like this on New Year's Eve and a couple of weeks ago actually. Hair care, also been consistent with that. Healthy eating, water, could always do better. Um, and then just like girlfriend stuff, which I also feel like I've been doing better at. There's still room for improvement there. but. I love the vibes of this. I was really happy when I made it and I feel like I'm sticking pretty consistent with the direction, but I feel like I want to upgrade it a little bit. So I'm excited to go to the coffee shop, sit down and make an updated version. And it was really nice to just have that like mid-year check-in with myself and to reflect on what my vision board looked like at the beginning of this year and how my goals have changed. And again, like I said, I think it's so normal for goals to change. We're always evolving as humans. And at the same time, I like to use a, use a reflection like this as an opportunity to ask myself like, maybe where have I been holding myself back out of fear? For example, in training, I know a lot of people are like, I'm gonna run a marathon this year and then they just don't because it's scary to embark on that new adventure and that new endeavor so it was a good balance of what have i not done out of fear or out of anxiety i guess so it was nice to check in in kind of all avenues of life and see how am i doing in relation to my fitness goals are they the same have they changed why have they changed is it out of fear is it out of just 
me evolving as a person and so just being honest with yourself there and saying am i holding myself back or am i genuinely just evolving and changing my direction and passions and that's totally fine and normal as a human so i love the new vision board that i made it just reflects my triathlon goals um, my training goals that have changed some life goals in regards to just being more present with family and spending more time with people i'm someone that is more on the introverted side and what i've realized throughout the years like is that i genuinely love connecting with people and it's not that i'm introverted i just feel like i'm i'm extroverted when i'm around people that i really connect with and so i have a lot of those people in my life it's just a matter of finding time and creating time to spend with them so that was you know a big thing on my vision board as well and female friendships and all those things so it was nice to reflect our game plan for tonight is to go to the movies so we're gonna head out in like an hour i'm gonna make some dinner i think i'm gonna make chicken hot dogs because we had them last night and they were really good and we need to use ours up but yeah i just wanted to update you guys that it felt really good to check in with myself and be honest with myself and just reset because i feel like we do it at the beginning of the year and then December rolls around and we're like, I forgot that I even set that as a goal. So that's that, that's my ramble. I'm gonna go make some dinner and then we're gonna head to the movies. Okay, I ran out of hot dog buns. So what I did instead was I'm just gonna make some little like chicken sausage tacos. So I just cooked these on the stove and then I'm just gonna have that on the tacos and I'll have the rest on the side. These are chicken sausages from Sprouts. And I'm just gonna add on a little bit of lettuce. I'm gonna do a little bit of avocado. I'm gonna add some pickled onions and finish off with a little bit of ranch sauce. I also air fried some green beans, but I'm gonna eat this first and then see if I am really hungry for those after. I also forgot to mention when I was at the coffee shop, I had a chocolate sea salt RX bar and I also had a bunch of raspberries when I got home and I also had a latte while I was there. So those are things I consumed that I forgot to share. Okay, the night took a turn. The movie that I thought was at 6.15 in fact comes out in two weeks. So instead we went to Dave and Buster's, which nobody told me was what it was. I didn't know what it was. Um, love it. I'm a big arcade person, so that was fun. Then we went to Chick-fil-A. Totally forgot to document any of this, so that is on me. I tried the grilled chicken nuggets and the waffle fries. Grilled chicken nuggets, they're good. They're just like grilled chicken. Waffle fries, not it for me. I'm more of a McDonald's fry girl. So anyways, I had a couple bites of that, nothing crazy. And now we're gonna head home and I'll probably read and make a creamy and vibe. Okay, you guys, I ended up making a Ninja Creamy for dessert. This is a chocolate one with chocolate sprinkles and animal, frosted animal crackers. So that's gonna be my nightcap while I read my book. <laughs> <laughs> 